This afternoon, I'm gonna take you along as I meal plan for the week. I'm gonna be sharing with you how I go about doing it, where I start, how I make my shopping list, and then I'm going to prepare a couple of dishes to have in the refrigerator ready to go. This is the key if you wanna get ahead for the week. I get asked a lot of questions on meal planning from working moms and single moms, and these tips are gonna help you so much. Okay, and also, after you're done watching this video, go click on my friend Kim's video on collabing today. She's from Free to Family, and she has great content. She's on keto, she shares how to budget, she shares keto tips, she shows meal planning, uh, meal prep during the week. She also shares frugality, home life, She's such an inspiration. I'm mainly focusing on dinners, but I do keep an eye out for breakfast and lunch. The number two spot that I start when I go to meal plan for the week is my pantry. When you wanna start meal planning, you're going to shop your shelves. I have been saying this for years. You shop your shelves first, and then you can make a grocery list and go to the store. That's one of many ways that you can do it. You can also go look at the ads and then create meals from the sales that are going on in the ads, and then go shopping, and there you go. But I, I have a lot of food on hand and in bulk. I have a food room. If you are new here and you want to see what my food storage room looks like, I do have a video. Just click on below. I like having these bins. So this is how I can see how we're doing and what we're low on. So down here is where I keep potatoes and onions. So I have one onion left. That needs to go on my list. I have a half a bag of potatoes left. I need some potatoes for the ham soup. Definitely need more potatoes for friends, friends giving this week. This is where our bread is, and this is where I keep our tortillas, and look at all this. Look at all of these flour tortillas. So I can even make chicken enchiladas because I have enough chicken. I actually have a block of cream cheese, and I have diced green chilies downstairs, so I can make, maybe I should throw chicken enchiladas on my list. So this is the number two spot that I shop. So let's start with number one, is the freezer and refrigerator. What I, I do is I look at it first, leftovers, let's get those puppies used for something. So you're gonna see me prepare today a few things. With the meatloaf yesterday, I have mashed potatoes. I can make my shepherd's pie recipe, I have a link down below. And so this will cover the whole top of that shepherd's pie. So guess what I'm gonna put on my list? Shepherd's pie. And in fact, I think that's going to be one of the things I'm gonna make for you today. All right, I have a turkey carcass. The next video you're gonna get from me is on how to roast a turkey. Such a fun video. So I have the carcass here and now I'm going to get this in a pot with some veggies and we're going to make a turkey broth. And that way I can make turkey soup, I can I can make a gravy if I wanted to. So we're gonna get this going today as well. Let's keep going, let's keep going. I have extra pie crusts in here. Now I could do my tuna pot pie. I do have a video link down below. My kids love tuna pot pie, absolutely love it. I have potatoes on hand, I have eggs on hand, I have tuna fish on hand, so I can make two tuna fish pies. Yes. Ah, oh, she's alive, do you hear her? She's alive. We're just going to ignore her for a moment. She's gonna shine in this video because it's her last video with us. When I filmed Monday, um, the turkey, I ended up having the whole family come over and we had a turkey dinner. There's some family members that won't be with us on Thanksgiving, so I was like, well, I'm already making a turkey. Why don't you guys come over, bring something, and we'll, we'll have a holiday dinner. So for family night, that's what we did. We had a load of fun. So I have a ham bone in here. So I am going to make split pea soup. I do have a video of this for you down below. I already have a bag of split peas down in my food room, and I already have carrots and celery and everything else that it needs to go with it. You see what I'm doing here? I'm getting the wheels turning, okay? So make sure that you have a list by you as you're shopping your, your shelves here of what you wanna make. And then we'll fill in the holes if we need something else for that recipe. If you hear that that's Paige, my puppy. She's my shadow. This is a great start to the week with just my leftovers. Like, hello, I can make these meals ahead. Let's see what else I got going on in here. So I have a lot of bagged fruit in here. When you guys see my grocery hauls and I buy a lot of strawberries, if Shaylee, Shaylee loves them, her and I mainly eat all the strawberries. If we don't get through them in time or they're about to spoil, 
I just throw them in some Ziploc bags, throw them in the freezer, and then we can add them to smoothies. They're great, so that's what I do. I have a lot of bag fruit up here. Okay, so I noticed that I have some taco meat here, and I have some frozen sausage that I need to use up. So I do wanna make a few more, not a ton, but I wanna make some breakfast burritos. So I have bacon already in there, I need eggs. Well, I have eggs, but I could buy some more. I can add that to my grocery list. I have a ton of tortillas in my pantry. So I'm gonna whip up a few breakfast burritos. I'm gonna leave that out. This taco meat, there is plenty in here for a small meal uh, of tacos, or I just might make some more um, burritos. I have so many tortillas I need to blaze through. But this can be eaten. This All you have to do is heat this up, throw it into one of the soft um, flour tortillas, and bam. So I'm gonna keep this out, put it in the refrigerator so we can thaw out. And I can definitely make those um, just normal beef bean burritos. I have tons of frozen cheese and fresh cheese in here. So I think that's gonna be on the list. So on the bottom, I have a bag of shrimp and also I have a bag of stir fry vegetables. We're going to make a shrimp stir fry for dinner as well. For breakfast, I'm going to make breakfast burritos. And for the lunches, I'm just gonna make a couple of more um, beef bean burritos. Oh my gosh, they love those. I think we're at an excellent start. I think we have a great basis and I can make some of these ahead of time and store them in my refrigerator. So I said that I shop my shelves the pantry, the refrigerator, and the freezer. Let me share with you what the big freezer looks like. This is where we store our freezer meals, and this is where we store our cow. We go in with the family on either a quarter or a third or a half, it just depends on the year, of beef. So when I'm cooking recipes, I'm also in there looking at the steaks, the roasts. I have a ton of ground beef in there, so there's plenty in there for my go-to meals. Welcome to my mudroom. This is where the family command center is, so I'm gonna look at our schedule. I usually don't assign a day a meal. I'm usually like, what are we craving right now? What sounds good? But there's a few days next week that I'm gonna need to figure out what I'm gonna feed the family. So I'm noticing that Sunday we're having dinner with Felix's family and that's Callie's fiance, so that is good. I just need to see what I can bring, so I don't need to prepare a meal that day. Need a meal for Monday, need a meal for Tuesday. Wednesday, I think I need a meal. I Derek and I are going to an event and I don't think it's dinner, So, um, and it's at seven, so we'll have time to eat as a family before we go to that. Okay, so I know I need three meals, four meals on Thursday. Friday, ooh, okay, Friday is a crazy day. I am, okay, Friday is a crazy day. I'm seeing like three things I need to be at on Friday. So I definitely want to make a go-to meal that's already made that I can pull out and throw in the oven, so. And then Saturday is Friendsgiving. I'm so excited, and it's Paige's birthday, you guys. Our puppy is turning two, so. All right, and then dinner for Sunday. And what I have on the list already, I think I am good to go. So this is how I meal plan. I look at the week, where can I throw these meals in? So, all right, let's make a grocery list. Up here above my microwave is where I keep all my recipe binders. So I have them separated. I do have a video on this if you wanna see beef and seafood, dip spread, sauces, soup, salads, veggie sides, chicken and pork, all, everything that I need and a, this big white binder is all baking so all right I am going to grab a few of the binders and get these recipes and see what we need so when I run out of something I just go to this pad of paper and I add what we need to it when I notice when I'm shopping my shelves and I just throw it on there okay here is that grocery list on the side of my refrigerator so let's add to this list I'm gonna look up my recipes in here so right now I am looking at my split pea soup. This is the soup binder. This is soup, salads, veggies, and sides. I decided much later, I better put my recipes in these sheet protectors. Oh, they're gonna look like this always and ruined. So, all right, let's see. Got the split peas. I have potatoes, but I do need more, especially for Friendsgiving this weekend. So I am going to put potatoes on my list. I am down to an onion in my pantry so we saw that I'm so, we saw that I'm out of I had one 
So we saw that I was low on potatoes. We saw that I had like one onion left. I already have the ham, the ham bone, the bouillon, the marjoram, the poultry seasoning, the sage, lemon, basil, boom. I am good to go. I'm gonna take this recipe out because we are going to make this. So I'll have that there. Uh, for the tuna fish pie, I do need, I do need more eggs. And we're gonna want eggs for the week anyway to make the burritos. I don't think I'll get to the burritos today because I wanna focus on the two soups. So I need some eggs. Shepherd's pie, I have everything for shepherd's pie. I always keep all the canned goods that I need for it down in my food room. Shrimp stir fry, we're good. Um, turkey soup have everything. All right, beef bean burritos. Um, I think we have, yeah, I got refried beans downstairs and we're good there in the breakfast burritos. I'm good, I just need eggs. So all right, this is a small list, perfect. I do have lettuce for salad. Oh, you know what I probably should put is tomatoes on my list. I have cucumbers, I have lettuce. I also have a bag of coleslaw that we can make into a salad. All right, I'm in a good spot. And for the um, shepherd's pie, I have in my freezer, let me show you. Okay, in my freezer, I have the last pound of ground beef from Costco when I had that Costco haul. So we are good there. So I'm gonna go over with you what I am doing for dinners for the week. Turkey soup, split pea soup, tuna pot pie, shepherd's pie, shrimp stir fry, and chicken enchiladas. That's six meals out of the week, which works perfect. I have enough for the week and a few of these I'm gonna make ahead and I'm gonna do that in this video for you. All right, so you usually take your list and you go to the store, right? But I wanna try to save some money this week because Thanksgiving's coming, right? So I'm already have my budget for the Thanksgiving and what I need, but I really don't wanna go in the store because I will overbuy. So this is not sponsored, but I am getting on my phone and I am going to my Instacart app and I am going to make a delivery because I don't want to go out. If I go out, I'm going to spend more money. Delivery time, within two hours, it's $8. I would have blown through so much. I would have, yeah, I would have spent way more than $8. So yeah, I'm going to do within two hours. Placing my order, it'll be here within two hours. Bam, I don't even need to leave my house. It's not sponsored. But if you guys get Instacart in your area, use it. I have saved so much money and so much time. I don't even have to leave this house. It's coming to me, yes. Let's get started on the things that I can start cooking now. So let's go. Apron's on, let's get cooking, let's go. I just realized I didn't, because I didn't look at my chicken enchilada recipe, that I don't think I have any of the green sauce down in the food room. Oh, you can make changes up until we start shopping your order. Sweet, sweet, it's in there. With Thanksgiving, if you're gonna have a leftover turkey carcass, if it's at your house or you're hosting whatever, whatever, ask for the carcass if someone's not even gonna use it. Are you kidding? Bag it up. I have a video on how you can make your own turkey broth. So good, make turkey soup with it, it's so easy. So, let's get this in here. I have a video on it below, click, watch, you'll thank me. Literally, that's it. We're gonna add some water and some seasonings. I picked off as much as the turkey as I possibly could and put them in the other bags. Oh, and I stored it in this big two gallon bag, Ziploc bag. Now, if you are going to do freezer meals with soup and you don't have any big bowls to freeze, um, or I like to keep, like my kids love getting ice cream in the big containers, around containers. I'll save those to free soup. But if you don't do that, you can get two gallon Ziploc bags, perfect for your freezing your soup. We're gonna try to submerge this as best as we can. Oh, so close. I'm waiting for my delivery, but this whole onion is going to work to start off my uh, turkey brine with, so. Perfect. In fact, I heard to not even throw these away, like throw them in your water. One of you guys have given me that tip. 
So that is what I am going to do. So thank you very much. So I'm gonna add this in there. So I did add a couple of more items to my shopping list. Carrots, because this is all the carrots that I have. So, and some more celery. I have enough, but with what I'm making, um, I just don't want to run out. I'm gonna be doing my Thanksgiving shopping here soon, but I snack on celery all the time. I'm gonna throw that in there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna get this up to a boil. This page is like, what are you cooking, Mom? Oh, what am I cooking? <laughs> Why? Now I gotta have to wash my hands again before I do anything else. Yes, but you're so sweet. Oh, I love you. Yeah, oh my gosh, I just love her. It's hard for you, isn't it, when Mommy makes all these yummy things and you smell them and you can't have them. All right. So I'm gonna actually get a cover on this to help it boil, and uh, yeah, and then I'll move on to the next meal. Okie dokie, I am taking that pound of hamburger, putting it, I cut off the metal ends, there was some metal tying it together. So I'm gonna defrost that. Not Dita. <laughs> Years ago, and you guys would catch me on it all the time, I used to say Dita. Isn't that basically freezing it again? Yeah. It's starting to go so we can make the shepherd's pie. So I'm gonna start thawing out some chicken. I have two chicken breasts that I had left over from a bag that I'm gonna use up, and then these chicken tenderloins. We're gonna thaw these, and then we're gonna start, once that happens, we're then we'll cook them up. Now, I could actually just boil these, because I'm making chicken enchiladas, so. Yep, let's, let's boil these frozen. Let's do that. All right, that way I am still waiting for my grocery haul to get here um, so I can at least work on the enchiladas because I can't on the slip pea soup because I need the onions. So I'm just gonna slide all this in the water. We'll boil this chicken up. Um, I always add poultry seasoning when I'm boiling my chicken. I Just to give it some flavor. I don't know. I don't know if it helps, but I swear it does some salt it came to a boil and now it's simmering and now I'm gonna add all the seasonings in there and it's gonna simmer for like a good hour my house smells like Thanksgiving wait till I add the seasonings in oh doggy so and uh, my pot of chicken is starting to boil it's like got all these bubbles were like almost there so that's doing good my um, ground beef is thawed out, ready for shepherd's pie. All right, I'm just gonna get all the herbs and stuff in here and let this sit and work its thing for an hour or more. You know, it doesn't hurt. All right, all my seasonings and herbs are in there. Okay, my chicken is done. It's still piping hot. I have my Bosch mixer here and it's gonna help me shred up my chicken. You can actually do this with your KitchenAid. And I always forget that I could do this and I'll like shred all this chicken. I'm like, dang it. So. <laughs> I don't feel like shredding it by hand, so let's do this. All right, I am doing enchiladas, so I don't want it shredded too much. All right, here's some big pieces. But I think that is perfect. Look how, seriously, how long did that take? And I would have been sitting there shredding forever. Oh my gosh. All right, perfect. It is 3.55. They were here exactly during the range they said they would. So I'll share with you the grocery haul. And then I can get the rest of the stuff done before the evening. So my gallon of milk, the sausage, pork. <clears throat> I did pick up some sour cream and of course the enchilada sauce, yay. My potatoes are over there, my napkins. I love these bags and every time I fold one up I think gee I should save it to cover a textbook My kids don't do that anymore Mallory when you were in high school or elementary school did you ever cover a book with this no all right all right it says oh <laughs> okay here it is tomatoes and onions. 
and I did add celery. So there we go. So now, and here's my potatoes. So now I can finish cooking. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. You'd cover this, protect your textbook, and you'd write the subject on it, and then you'd be like, Kim loves Derek. Derek and Kimmy forever. Or four dash eva, E-V-A. Now? Okay. All right, I'm just cutting up onions for the shepherd's pie, and I'm also gonna throw this stuff in with the turkey broth. Here's my pot that I already have the ham bone in. So I'm gonna add this onion, and then I'm gonna cut up another onion. Starting to brown up the ground beef with that onion, get that going. And then I'll go get um, the green beans and the corn and the tomato sauce to put in there. And I'm gonna also add these to my broth. And I swear, one of you left me a comment before saying like, and you that you know you could add these into your broths and things while you're making a, a stock that it will make your stock it'll make your stock darker and my this is darker than usual so i think you have a point this is going to be a small shepherd's pie i'm only doing i'm not doubling the recipe like i usually do because this will be for the kids during the week when derek and i head out what i love about the split pea recipe is that everything gets thrown in the pot together and cooks like there's no like waiting to add another thing in it's all dump go cook bam you're done all right i'm gonna clean up two potatoes chop them up get them in here if you don't eat potatoes you can use turnips it'll be just as good we do that in our beef stew actually we quite prefer it if you're a working mom or a single mom single working mom just find time in your schedule where you can make one or two meals ahead of time so you could be ahead of the game. Um, I know it's intimidating and overwhelming to think of finding a whole day to dedicate this, but if you can, or just an afternoon, find what you can do in your schedule and batch cook and cook ahead of time so that way it'll save you time during the week. All right. I've got all this yummy leftover ham. So this is going in there as well. And we're gonna use probably about two cups of this ham. And also that ham bone is gonna pull off any other ham that's in there. All right, all I need to do is go downstairs and add a bag of my split peas. So I gotta go find them in the food room. And I'm gonna add eight cups of water some chicken bouillon, dried marjoram, poultry seasoning, sage, pepper, dried basil, salt, and get this going. Pour that in here. Okay, first, in here I'm gonna add tomato soup. I have, all the recipes are down below. My shepherd's pie video, I've made it so many times in different freezer meal videos, but the original video is pretty crummy. It's like bad quality, but I'll link everything for you. I'm gonna drain this corn, I'm gonna drain this can of green beans, and that's going in here. Hi. Hi. Just cooking and filming. You're filming? I'm filming. Just, just keep on filming, baby. I just left work, trying to get away to get on the freeway. Uh, is it perfect? I was expecting you to cry that I was going to be gone tonight. <laughs> why? Why do you want to leave me? Just adding the seasonings in this now. I am going to add more water to this. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a boil. And then when it hits the boil, I'm just going to cover and simmer it for one and a half, one, to one and a half hours until the peas and the veggies are tender. All right, I'm gonna pour the shepherd's pie mixture right into this pan. I'm gonna heat up the leftover mashed potatoes and then we'll add them on to this. Okay, so I can put the potatoes on this, wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator. And so when we wanna eat it, I can throw it in the oven or I could bake it now cool it, 
get it in the refrigerator and then when the kids want it they could just plate it and microwave it. I think I'm gonna go with my first option. I am losing steam. So I'm going to get the potatoes nice and loose and get them creamed up, layer it on, wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator and cook it in just a couple of days. It'll be fine. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, this process is longer for me when I film it, and uh, so it's like, ah. Anyway, okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my meat. I was going to get this all nice and hot and bubbly and make the enchiladas. So what I'm just gonna do is bag this up, and my cooking, my cooking, my chicken is already cooked, ready for enchiladas this week. So when I go to make it, all I have to do is pull out the chicken, heat everything up, make it, roll it. Um, and I will do that on a day this week that I'm not going anywhere that I can cook this meal and yep go from there so I have everything the cream cheese the sauce the cheeses the diced green chilies I'm ready to go all right here is all my chicken ready for enchiladas this week and this can go in the refrigerator and I have my sausage and taco meat already thawing out in the refrigerator for those meals um, that I can prep later this week. And the whole point of this is to be ahead of the game. Even if it's, if it's just chopping up all your veggies on a Sunday for the week to add into your recipes. Or doing what I'm doing, cooking a few, putting them in the refrigerator, or par cooking some of them so that way we're just one step ahead for during the week. Any step that you can do to make the process easier and help you not eat out during the week will help you so much. This does not need to be perfect, just spreadable. I am gonna do a layer of saran wrap and then a layer of aluminum foil. My hubby's home. what he says about all the yummy smells. Everybody watching my hot wife make yummy food. <laughs> yes. All right, here it is. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we will cook it when we're ready to have it this week. So I really don't have a whole lot of leftovers left in the fridge. There's some turkey, but it's going in the soup and some recipes I'm making for you guys. It's coming in another video. Turkey soup smells delicious. I know. Split pea soup smells delicious. All right, my split pea soup is done. I took the ham bone out and just threw it away, the ham hock. So, ugh, I'm making a mess. It still needs to cool off some more before it goes into the refrigerator, but it's out of the hot pan. It's been sitting there for a little bit, but it's still so hot. So, okay, we're gonna let this cool down. I'll put the lid on and it'll go in the refrigerator and we have split pea soup for the week. All right, I took some of the big bones out, but what I'm gonna do is strain this broth so I can collect all the big chunks. And I'm gonna start to cool this broth off so I can get it in the refrigerator Oh, this smells so good. This makes the best soup. Look at all this goodness. So this is gonna cool down and then I'll collect the fat off the top. And what I could do from this point is put it in freezeable like containers and put it in the freezer or you can keep it in your refrigerator. But I'm gonna be making a soup and you're gonna see that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. But I am ready to just make the soup, but um, but that will be tomorrow. I'm filming that tomorrow. So I'm gonna let this cool and then I'll collect the fat and then put it in my refrigerator. And last but not least, you gotta end the day with a treat. So I made some brownies. <laughs> you know, everyone. Yay! yay Shaylee says yay! So, yep. So this is just cooling and we'll cut it and we're gonna end this day with some brownies. Okay, so as that's cooling, I'm gonna put a list, a piece of paper right here on this board that I keep on my counter, and I'm going to write down the meals that I have for the week. So when 
so I know what we have and it's already ready to go in the refrigerator so you know I found my leftovers we're creating things and I'm in a good spot for the week I got ahead a little bit and I'm so happy about it so this is a method of menu planning that you can do to help you save some time uh, skip a few steps um, and and it'll just bring you less anxiousness during the weeks. So I'm gonna take you along. Paige, go sit! Well, you can hear us. <laughs> so I'm neat, I'm gonna. Blah, 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 blah. Words are hard. Thank you for. Now I have to pee hearing the water drain. 